Hello everyone, Justin Patton here, Communication Skills Coach. And I just want to share with you a quick story about an incident that happened this week. And it was probably one of the bravest things I've ever seen in my entire life. And I was teaching a leadership program at Taco Bell Restaurant Support Center in Irvine, California. And the last day was graduation, and we talked about Brene Brown's, you know, power of vulnerability, and we'd been through all this soul-searching journey. And the last day, this woman gets up, and we call her name, and you can tell she's kind of timid, and she walks down to the microphone to talk about what she learned that week. And what she said to people completely, I think, shocked us all, and more importantly, made me so proud to do what I do for a living, and proud to see where she goes in her journey. And she got up to the microphone, and with her kind of voice quivering, she said, when her daughter was 23 years old, she died. And as a mom who lost her daughter, she became really emotionally distant and emotionally unavailable to people, and as a result, became really angry. And that anger transformed and transcended to every part of her life. And it went into how she showed up and how she communicated to the people she loved and the way that she led in her restaurant and all other areas. And she said recently, it got to a point in her franchise where they love her and they're, and, they're, and they're so much a family and they didn't want to let her go, but they knew something had to happen. So she said that they actually suspended her for three weeks. And as I talked to her, she said it was one of the best things they could have ever done because in her mess and in her pain and maybe even in the anger of being suspended from work, she realized in that moment that her pain for all these years um, was, was self-destructive and she had to do something. So she went to go get help. And the fact that that woman was brave enough to, and vulnerable enough to stand up in front of an entire room to talk about her lessons and her pain and her struggles and what she's learned from this week and how she's going to show up differently is so admire, you know, and I admire her so much for that. And more importantly, I think there's a little piece of you and me and all of us in that woman's story. We know what it's like to have that type of pain or some type of pain where we haven't we haven't transformed it and as a result it transfers out to every other part of our life in a negative in a negative light. And so you know, for me, that situation was my dad dying at 18. So what happened? I become emotionally shut off and distant through myself in a career. And when I time I hit my 30s, that behavior was no longer working for me. And it was it was I was holding myself back. You know, one time I heard my pastor say that when you don't transform your pain, you transfer it on to other parts of your life and to other people in your life. And so I want you to ask yourself today, are you transferring your pain that you've never dealt with? to other parts and other people in your life. Because when we don't transform it, it always shows up and we communicate it out in other ways and usually in negative behaviors. And so here's what I want to leave you with. So you might be saying, well, Justin, how, how do I transform this pain I've been carrying around for so long? So a couple things I think. Just like this brave woman, I think first you got to acknowledge it. Can you acknowledge that you've been sitting in the mess and sitting in the pain? And two, can you Decide and make a conscious ch um, choice to transform that pain into a healthy, into healthier habits and behaviors. Um, I, I believe that you got to start small. I think sometimes we want to flip a switch and say, I'm just going to show up completely different. Well, we're human beings that make mistakes and that's not likely. So can you make small changes today? Can you even acknowledge when you when your pain starts to show up and, and you start to communicate differently? And can you make a different choice before you either communicate it or go back? Maybe part of your journey is you got to go tell people you're sorry, right? For that woman, that was an acknowledgement of how she was sorry that she led like this, but she has committed to, to not leading that way in the future. And, you know, another thing I always believe, you know, I took Ian LaVan's um, O course. So Oprah Winfrey had all these e-learning courses and there's an O course on Ian LaVan's course on forgiveness. And, you know, everything that Ian talks about is forgiveness is not about other people. It's about forgiving ourselves and letting go of the pain and the hurt and the anger and the resentment that we have towards other people and more importantly, towards ourselves so that we can free ourselves to show up in a better light. And so, those are some ways. Acknowledge it. Make small changes today. Learn to forgive yourself. And if you really want to do the work, take Ianla's Van, Van Zandt course on um, forgiveness on Oprah's, on Oprah's website. So those are small things that we can all do to show up better. So remember this. If you don't transform your pain, you're going to transfer it to other parts of your life. It is never too late, just like this lady showed this week in this class. It is never too late to transform your pain. We can always start today. So wherever you are, 
I hope you're happy, you're loved, and if no one tells you today they believe in you, please know that I believe in you. I'm headed on to a plane to Dallas, Texas to do workshop for over 200 Wendy's people. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to talk about some of the soul searching stuff, so I'll let you know how it goes. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.